they're not that bad. They are worthy of forgiving and giving another chance. The same with you. It's really fascinating for me as a monk to realize just how maybe we can forgive other people, but the hardest person to forgive is ourselves. Why you do that is absolutely crazy and madness. With other people, you can run away from them. You, wherever you go, there you are. There's no way you can get rid of you. <laughs> and even if you commit suicide, it's the most stupid thing to do because once you kill your body, there you are afterwards. <laughs> your spirit is still there. So you just can't get rid of yourself by killing your body. You're still there with all your problems and psychosis and depression and anger. So that's not a solution at all. So why can't we find another solution to the pain of our own past, the things that you have done, which you're not proud of, things which you have done, which have hurt others? Why can't you forgive yourself and let go of guilt? You know why? Because all you see is the things you've done wrong. So what you need to do is get a piece of paper. Write your name on the top. <laughs> and on the left hand side, be honest and write all the stupid, bad, selfish things you have done, which has hurt other people. Write them down. Be honest. Get into it. Write them all down. And on the right hand side, write things you admire about yourself. The good things you've done in life. The very selfless acts of kindness, charity, compassion, goodness. Write those down. Tear it in half, throw the left hand side away, and keep that right hand side. Your beautiful and good, wonderful qualities. And then you realize you are worthy of forgiveness. You're not a criminal after.